Hi, so this is chapter 22, electrostatic. Um, I'm gonna talk about electric field in the conductors. Um, okay, so conductors, when you hear conductors, what's the characteristic of can, uh, conductors? What's conductor have an um, electric insulator? Insulators do not have. Conductor have free electrons, right? So inside the conductors, like a metal, any conductors, you have a electric charge that can flow inside the material. So conductors have free electrons. Okay, so in a previous video, we talked about electric field. When you have an electric field, you have a charge. Um, what, does, what happens to the charge in an electric field? This charge feels the force, right? Because there's an electric field and there is a force. And uh, this charge feels the force and therefore, if it feels the force, it's gonna move, accelerate. Um, because conductor have a free electrons, um, if, if you have an electric field, these electrons inside the conductors uh, the free electrons in a conductor still move. So that's not, so it's not going to be in equilibrium. So these electrons, free electrons in the conductors, they'll move in a way so that, that they'll become equilibrium in a way that they no longer move. So they'll arrange the charge configuration to make that they don't feel any more force. Therefore, electric field inside a conductor is zero. Um, it's just no electric field in a conductor because we have, the conductors have a free electrons. Okay, that's, that, that's it. Inside a conductor, electric field is always zero. Um, I'll show you in a screen a little bit. So remember the definition of a uh, uh, electric field. You have a force. Any of the let me see. Okay, that's good. Uh, chapter twenty-two. Okay. So, electric field inside conductors. Always zero. So, remember the definition of an electric field? Right, you have a electric field, you have some kind of a charge, and then this charge feels the electric field to have the electric force, um, right? <clears throat> if you want the vectors too. So if um, you have a, inside a conductor, let's say you have a conductor, Conductor. Conductor has um, free electrons that can move around. So if you have um, electric field coming, this there's let's say positive Q or something here that has an electric field, right? These um, uh, electrons inside will move around. to make it E equals zero. Mm -hmm. 
no matter what. So because the, they'll move until it becomes equilibrium. Equilibrium means uh, electrostatic, right? Electrostatic. So equilibrium, it's in equilibrium. Force has to be zero. How to have a force zero? F equals QE. You have some electrons, so E has to be zero. Well, the force has to be zero. So the charge free electrons in a conductor will configure in a way to make it zero. And um, they, all the charges, let's say this conductor have some kind of a charge. Um, even they have a charge, then they'll arrange in a way, and then they tend to sit at the um, surface. You don't have any charge in a conductor um, so that you don't have any electric field. The only charges, if you're going to have, will sit outside on the surface. So then it can, the electric field lines comes outward, right? Outward. Not in it. There's no electric field lines inside. Again, E equals zero. And um, so the charges will always sit on the surface outside. And then um, as you see that these field lines is gonna be typically coming out perpendicular to the surface. Because imagine if you have, it's okay. If you have a, like a surface like this, and then um, let's say you have uh, electrons here. And then if electrons have any, force along the surface, this is very thick. Um, uh -oh. uh, if these electrons have any force along the surface, um, if the electrons has any force along the surface, this is F parallel. That means that um, you have a, or the, um, if the electrons have any F parallel, that means it's moving. It's moving. So you can't, it's going to only have F or E perpendicular to come outward. So it can't go anywhere else. It's going to be only, electric field only comes outside the conductor. If you have anything along, even along the surface, that means that you have some kind of electric field. And that means it's gonna have a force. The charge will be keep moving. So that's why that all the field lines has to be, these field lines always has to be perpendicular to the surface. So imagine that if you have a kinky spot, like a, this edge, sharp edge, right? Then, uh, all the electric field lines has to be coming out like this. So the in elect uh, free electrons or the charges in the conductor, they tend to go on um, edges more so that you have all these field lines coming out. There are more tendency to be at the sharp, sharp end edges. So if you have a shape like this, let's say, like a dropping shape like this conductor, then uh, charges, let's see, I should put it inside. Um, charges will be many of them here. And then you will see less here. So the field line will be strongly coming out, many coming out like this. Something like that. So any pointy thing, um, electrons tends or charges likes to go in a conductor. Okay, so question. When you have a lightning,
and uh, your car. doesn't start anymore. Um, where is the safest place? Place to be. One. Under, so you see that there's a tall tree under the tall tree, two, inside the house, which does not have a lightning. They don't have a lightning rod, but made of um, very sturdy material like a brick. Three, stay inside the car. So you have a, there's a lightning, very bad one. You're caught in a storm and then you're in a car, right? And uh, there's a tall tree here. And then over here, there's a house. You don't see a lightning rod on the house, but this house is made very strong material. Where is the good place to be? Well, the lightning, right, carries a lot of electrons. Then if you get hit by it, it's not good. So you want to avoid having the lightning. Um, water, the rain is a conductor, so it tends to have, um, carries all those charges. Um, let's see, you want to be, the answer is three, stay in a car, right? You want to stay inside a car. What is car made of? Cars made of metals. Metal is metal is a conductor. Conductor have free electrons, right? So this car that's made of metal, that means that electric field, uh, sorry, electric field is always zero. E equals zero. Do you feel any electric force if there's electric field is zero? No, you don't feel anything inside a metal because electric field is zero inside a metal. So if you're staying inside a car, the metal is shielding you from all the electromagnetic field, external electromagnetic field. In fact, why do you, it's not a good idea to be under the tree, because I told you, right? There's a ray that has a conductor, it's like a lot of charges. And then what, if you have a tall, um, kinky object, that means that you have a, this has a lot of uh, charges rather than flat surface, right? So then it's easier to attract, yellow is better probably, um, easier to attract the lightning because it gets to be pointy. Um, in fact, the lightning rod, how does the lightning rod works too? You have a tall, um, if you have a lightning rod, this one shouldn't have a lightning rod, but if you have a lightning rod, the house with the 
lightning rod, right? This is made of a metal. So the, all the charges will go up here and you purposely attract the lightning here and then you put this wire outside. So then uh, this lightning, uh, lightning will pass through and they'll go inside the house. So you on purposely make it pointy and tall to attract the lightning that's made of metal. So it goes there. But in the case of a car, um, you don't see um, any, uh, inside a car, you're not gonna get any um, lightning. Okay, um, let's see. So the airplane that's flying, um, airplane that's flying, uh, they get uh, hit by the lightning uh, once every 1,000 flight hours. That's, um, it's a pretty common thing that airplane gets hit by a lightning. 1,000 flight is nothing, right? Because I imagine that to go across the Pacific, for me, that's like, a, you know, it could be 11 hours. Um, so what, one of about 100, it's gonna fly every day. Um, so a few times a year, uh, two, three times a year, it's gonna get hit by the lightning. It's a given thing. And most likely it's more than that. Um, should I be afraid? In fact, I have been in an airplane that got struck by the lightning. Um, that's, a, that's a known thing. Uh, let me see. Um, and uh, so what is it? The airplane is made of metal. Um, airplane is made of metal. And um, so it does have the uh, lightning that comes through. And then, uh, airplane has a, uh, is made of metal and then it has a lightning that comes through, but then it passes through inside the airplane, electric field is zero. Of course, you gotta make sure that um, those electronic devices, you know, is shielded inside the metal. But that's how you protect any of the electronic device from external electric field, is by actually um, shielding it with the metal. So these days, the um, airplane is made of a graphene um, and, uh, but they still use those um, wiring grid or something to make sure that um, it won't get, uh, it won't, um, sorry, uh, get affected by it, the lightning. So I'll show you the video here. Sorry. You're gonna see the airplane it is actually getting hit by the lightning. Share the computer cell. Yeah, why not? You see it? Let me see. Let me go back to it. Here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so when I was in the airplane, I hear like a boom sound. Um, but that's about it. And you have a like a some wire or something that's, oops. <laughs> Whoa. That's not what I meant to show you. 
that's just pretty. Let's see here. This is not okay. Um, all right, so something like that. I do have uh, pictures I can show you. See, there are just so many, um, it's a common thing that you see. So something like that. You see a lot of them that's uh, getting hit, struck by the airplane, right? Okay, so let's see uh, here. Uh, I'm not going to show the whole 10 minutes, but you see, it's just struck the airplane. So just the lightning just passed through. And uh, inside the airplane, electric field is zero. You're safe, it just keeps flying. Of course, you need to make sure that you're completely nicely shielded. You need to uh, have a, you know, you don't want to take a chance. Um, um, So one more, and, uh, I think you understand it. Oops. My son is crying. Sorry, I my son is crying, so I'll stop the video. Um, so there's a, a one more thing I want to show you. Um, um let's see i made um so have you been to the science museum and they sometimes have a big tesla coil that's just like sparking all those uh lightning um but you are okay because it's um shielded with the metal grid um i'll be back sorry i'm so sorry about that um so you know the tesla coil if you go to a science museum um, you have a big Tesla coil like sparking all that lightning, but it's okay because you see also you see those Tesla coil inside the metal grid, right? So the metal um, only if you're inside of the metal, um, electric field is zero. And in fact, those um, metal grid is called Faraday cage. Um, sometimes when you have a, like a very expensive stereo device. Uh, speaker or something and uh, to avoid having the noise uh, you might want to just wrap it with aluminum foil um, with some kind of a metal shield it so from the external electromagnetic waves magnetic field um, then um, you get a rather clean uh, signal we do this for the experiment too. make sure we shield it with the metal box um, for some sensitive um, experiment so I made a Faraday cage. Um, I like to show you my homemade Faraday cage. Um, and then uh, let me share the screen here. Uh oh, hold on. 
you can hear any sound. Okay, one more time. So here I have a radio. It's turning. It's turning to uh, KCRW 89.9, um, Santa Monica College radio station. Um, what else I also have is uh, this is the metal grid. Um, metal grid, and um, this is a conductor, metal. I'm turning on the radio. No more touch. Let's put this radio in the grid. See how it You see how the music goes away? There's no more signal. I'm gonna open it. Close it. Open. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn it down. It's because that inside the metal conductor, electric field is always zero. And this is called Faraday cage. Right, electric field inside the conductor is zero. You don't feel any signals inside. Um, so electric signal that comes as a radio wave, you, you're shielding it in the middle. Um, those are uh, wireless keys, you know, um, they say that like, oh, people can, they constantly send out the um, signal to your car to unlock the door. Um, so some people have a device to catch up that signal to get to unlock your car and steal your car, but you, you know, they say to always put it in a pocket um, to you. They sell you this little uh, box that's made of metal. So you can, you know, you know, you sh cancel the seer. All right. So that's the idea for this uh, video. Electric field inside a conductor is zero. Because conductor have a free electrons and uh, for electrostatic. Uh, you cancel, they move in a way to make E equals zero inside the conductor. See you at the discussion.